Hello and welcome to this short Pro Concrete video about face based rebar modeling basics. My name is Michal Lipinski and I'm a product manager for Pro Concrete Bentley Systems. And in this video, I will show you how to create a profile, based on that profile, a concrete extruded solid, and finally add reinforcement that will adapt every time the object changes. For the purposes of this video, I have created a profile. This is just with MicroStation SmartLine. I have added this profile to my model. It has the dimensions visible on the screen and after that we have to start constraining that profile. So here we have auto constraint feature where the software will figure out the easiest relationships between this, the lines here. And while it does it fairly good, we need to add a few more like which parts are perpendicular, which point needs to be fixed. So I've done just that. And then after that we need to start constraining the dimensions of that profile. So here we have additional features that allow us to, to add dimension constraints and I can go by element. So I just pick up portions of that profile. And as you can see, we can either add dimensions truly aligned with the object or align with the drawing. So orthogonal basically. And then and once I'm finished, all of these dimensions can be adjusted. You can enter a property menu of those dimensions and adjust it and the profile will adjust accordingly. That's just an example of how this update works. Additionally, we can utilize variables. So I can define variable here in the variables window and call it slab h, for example, and that will be a dimension of the, the height of the slab. And I will give it a dimension of 400 millimeters and then go back to my dimensions and edit it. And here from the list, it will provide me that particular variable. And now when I go to my variables window, every time I adjust this value, it will update the model accordingly. So that is how you can constrain the, the profile. So I have created a couple of more variables here. Thickness of the wall and applied it to another one just for demonstration purposes. And of course, the length of the wall itself. So here we, I have specified the bigger uh, value because this will be the length of the wall that we will extrude from this profile. So then we go to MicroStation modeling tools and select solid by extrusion. Here we can define the distance and wherever you see that X in brackets, that means you can point it that dimension to a variable. Now, whenever you change the variable, it will also adjust the length of the solid you just created. So everything is here logically laid out in the property window. So it, it, you can see the profile, you can see the extrusion there and adjust it accordingly. And of course, the variables themselves. Once we did that, we can go and start modeling our reinforcement. Our reinforcement needs to understand to which faces it is assigned. So this is why we have associative extraction commands where I can define the offset for the face, which would effectively be my cover distance. And then I can also specify it as a variable because you can see that X is next to that face offset. So I will define it as minus 70 millimeters it needs to have a negative value and then you can assign it here in my associative extraction tool i will change the color and change the thickness of the line just so you can see it better and i can now start extracting my faces i need to select the face and accept i can select multiple faces at once as well i'll go to the bottom Go back to my previous view. Now the next step is to extract intersections between those faces. And I just select two faces and it will automatically find the intersections between them. So these are actually our start and end points plus the bending points for our bars. And then I will use irregular dispatch to model the reinforcement. 
here we just select what is the diameter of our bar and spacing and offsets and we can select the concrete and finally select the lines we just created to place those bars between those lines. So going down here, then going to the right and again down. Creating a reinforcement this way allows us to then adopt it every time to the changes to the solid. So I will switch off those construction lines that we used the faces and I will go now to my profile back again and here you see the dimensions we did before so these variables we will now adjust and here we have a different slab height and immediately the bar is extended so it has the leg length is adopted to the thickness of the slab and the same goes to this portion where it will always be close to the face of the wall and again if you adjust the cover it will also push those bars more in or close put them closer to the to the faces themselves and if you adjust the length of the solid it will also expand those bars and still keeping the spacing distance between them that is how you can start modeling your face space reinforcement in pro concrete thank you very much for being here and see you in the next videos